Hi fellow makeup fiends, I'm going to make a video today about the lash card. Uh, there is a page on YouTube and there's also a page on Facebook for you to like it. I got a letter from the president of the company Alice Kim and she sent me these um, basically just to try them out and review them and show them to you. And I also have this one to offer to a winner and what I'm actually going to do is I've got this pack here and this is how they come in this lovely sort of pink and black packaging and it's got instructions on the back of how to use it and your lash cards inside come in individually wrapped packets which is really good because it keeps them it means they're very sanitary it also means that you can carry these around with you without worrying that this is in your handbag or anything they're just made of cardboard and they've got markings on them to say what kind of eye shapes they're for so it says oh, small curve and large curve um, and it's plain on one side they are quite nice I think that it would be a good idea for the company to provide plastic ones that they just did like as seasonal things that you could buy as gifts for people as I think these would be really good if they were hard plastic and a little bit better wearing than the cardboard plus it means you could buy lots of different designs or maybe they could personalize them with people's names which would be great for makeup artists just a great little tool to carry around with you in your handbag I probably wouldn't carry these in a little plastic although you could do that I think it would be really great to have plastic ones uh, you know like zebra print and leopard print and bright pink and glittery and things like that so it's something that you could definitely keep within your kit as well as doing the uh, kind of throw away ones as well so that may be an idea for the company um, but I have been trying to use them I must admit I am having a few problems with them just because I do have visual problems with my eyes um, but I've actually used it today to put on my mascara and as you can see it's got mascara on there you basically put it on and press it down and then you put the mascara on and instead of the mascara going against your face the mascara actually goes onto the cardboard and you can actually use it underneath which is what I find the most useful it's difficult for me on top to kind of get it in place and then do it I'll, I'll have to use like a magnifying mirror now when I first got it I just had the handheld one and I couldn't do it with that because it was like how do I get the mascara how do I hold the brush how do I hold this it was like I needed another hand um, but now I've got the new mirror from the number 7 which I showed you in a recent haul I was able to actually achieve it a lot better so I think it's a lot more useful when you're actually doing it with a mirror that's standing and you don't have to hold anything I do need a magnified mirror to put mascara on just because my vision is not you know, 100% so I need where I can properly see so I did find it was a lot easier to do when I had a freestanding mirror um, and it just takes some getting used to really I used it a couple of times and I was thinking oh I, you know, I was a little bit nervous because she actually sent me these products after I made a comment on my friend Miss Kels' video uh, she got it in a birch box I think it was and it was just like kind of a little just one off little sample thing and I think it was actually one of these and uh, I commented about it so she messaged me and asked me to maybe do a little review on it and offer this pack out to a subscriber or reviewer who would maybe leave a comment um, and she gave me a few ideas about what to do like with the giveaway um, but she sent me this really lovely letter and I'm really pleased to have somebody send me something to review because I thought that was really nice because I don't have a lot of subscribers and a lot of the big companies you get in touch with really are, don't want to give smaller people like me on YouTube things to review because I guess they kind of think well who's really going to see that but I just kind of think well if you do that review a lot of people might actually watch it it's like some of my Mac sort of reviews I've got a lot of people who have watched it so it's not necessarily how many subscribers you have it's the product that you're actually reviewing and if people like it then new people get to see it so I think it's a bit of a shame that bigger companies don't utilize the people who are actually contacting them and asking if they could review their products because I mean it's, it's a person's interest and I think that if a person's showing interest I think that's a great thing so this was kind of out of the blue but I was really pleased to receive this and I'm really grateful so thank you Alice for considering me for this now what I want to do is I actually want to do a little giveaway and what I'll do is I'll send you um, a couple of these to give a try and I'll actually send you a couple out of my pack because obviously because they're sort of security sort of sealed like for obviously for sterile sort of reasons they're sealed um, I'll send a couple of these out to you out of, this is the larger pack um, 
and I'll put down some details in the drop bar of the Facebook and the YouTube page of the Lash Card and you can check out the reviews on their channel and see some little videos about how to use it and this one I'm going to give this away to one of my subscribers who actually makes videos so if you make videos yourself and you would like to review this on your channel then I'd love you to get in touch with me because I actually want to pass this on to somebody who will review it and then you know that's another review for Lash Card that's out there on YouTube and also to get another view because um, I definitely took a bit of practice for me but just because I've got visual problems that's why I kind of felt like I feel like somebody else should maybe review it as well as me. I do think they're a really good idea I think it is because sometimes I mean even today I was just kind of doing it and that's what kind of reminded me about it because I actually got some mascara on my face because it can be a bit clumsy sometimes but that's the thing with mascara sometimes it just takes a tiny slip and it's on your face and mascara tends to be the last thing that I put on so you've already got your full face of makeup on and it's like if you get it on your face you know you've got to take it off and then you've got to sort of fix up that area so something like this can really save those kind of little slip ups um, so yeah what I'm gonna do is if you are a subscriber and you make videos I'd love you to kind of just drop a little message in the bottom bar and I'll just put your names in a hat and pick out one of you at random so what you'll need to do is just let me know you know um, I'd love to just put I'd like to review the lash card on my channel and then the people who put that then I will pull your names out the hat and send you that and then a couple of these I'll send these to people um, I'm actually going to make this just for the UK only because these are actually available in the US. So this is a this is a UK only. I've got quite a few here, but I'm just going to send a couple out, obviously, because postage costs and stuff. So I'll pick two other people, and I'm just trying to think what you could possibly put. I think what um we'll do is anybody else who wants to enter and win a couple of these to try out, you'll need to be subscribed to me, like me. Uh, like Lash Card on Facebook and maybe check out their channel also and maybe comment on the Lash Card page if you'd like to but I think the most important thing is to sub to me and to like the Facebook page for Lash Card and then just put down what would you call your mascara if you could name a mascara of your own what would you call it because there's some quite interesting names for mascaras out there at the moment and probably one of my favourites is this one the Falsify I really like that and then there's the cat eye ones and the, the different ones in the different packaging so tell me what you would call your mascara if you could design one and um, I'll send you a couple of these out to try so thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the review and please leave your comments below see you soon bye